guys and welcome to studio vlog number three. Today is actually a Wednesday so normally when I'm doing a studio vlog I will film Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and then that all goes into one vlog on the Sunday. But yesterday I had a friend that was in need and she just needed me, she needed some support and she just hasn't been doing very well lately so I kind of done everything to my video, scheduled the video and then went off and I didn't come home until I think it was about 10 o'clock last night or half 10. It also means that I'm now kind of like a day behind in my usual schedule so yesterday I had like a custom order that was supposed to be sent off, my poppet squad packs were supposed to be sent off so I need to do that first thing this morning as well to try and catch up on yesterday and of course I was supposed to make my mould yesterday because I know that that takes like 24 hours and then I was going to be doing resin today and tomorrow so I need to try and fit that in as well. And as it's Wednesday, it's my usual orders day, so I do all of your orders and um, dispatch those. I'm hoping to try and just get everything done in one day, two days worth of work in one day, it's possible. So, my morning has not gone well. <laughs> it's now 20 past one and I haven't really managed to get a lot done because my cutting machine was going off and playing up. And then the new, some of the new release stickers that I'm doing, they're like these little um, pop-it tabs. So you have like little separate tabs in them and I created like this background for them. Once I've cut them out, they're not cutting out how I want them to cut out and it's really frustrating and I've printed so many and wasted so many. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you what I mean. Um, there we go, the brightness was up too high. Um, yes, yeah, so they're not cutting out how I want them to cut out and they're starting to rip along the poppet heads and just not going well. So, change up the cut lines a bit so hopefully they won't kind of rip so this bit of the paper like is still stuck on there so you can see what I mean by it ripping um not what I needed when I'm in a rush I have been working like non-stop since this morning and not got anything done it's just one of those days I've also got a coat on because I'm cold and I'm cold because I'm tired <laughs> So much mess and nothing to show for it. <laughs> They've actually cut much, much better this time. They're not ripping where they were before and they're cutting up really nicely. And obviously they're on sticker paper so you'll be able to stick them onto your tab and you can fold them and then you can just write on them. I did do like a little trial when I first designed these. I kind of print and cut them really quickly and tried them out like in my bullet journal. I just put the days of the week on there or what the week is and I really liked them. So 
yeah so this is how they're going to look these aren't going to be coming out just yet but I need to send them off to my poppet squad and as I'm vlogging today you guys can have a sneak peek I guess of what's coming out I forgot to say that in each pack there are 10 tabs because that's as many as I could fit on there. I'm not sure if these will fit in the Hobonachis. I will be asking my PR squad because I know that some of those have the Hobonachis. But I think these were 2.8 centimetres wide. I'm not sure how wide the tabs are in a Hobonachi, but they may fit, they may not. But I will let you guys know because I will ask my puppet squad. <laughs> so I've got everything ready upstairs. I'm going to go and do the mould upstairs because then I've got my studio lights up there. And obviously this camera can go on the um, do free. I'm also crawling on the floor <laughs> to put this camera down because it's so heavy. I have been vlogging with this camera today but it's so big and bulky that it's so hard which is why I normally use the other camera. But I know that this one is much better quality so I've been using this one today. So yeah I have given up on this whole disaster for today. It's now half past three so uh, my son's going to be home from school any minute. And I'm going to go upstairs and I'm just going to do the mould. I'm probably going to put it on a kind of speed through of me doing it because it's not like I can give you a tutorial or anything because I don't even know what I'm doing. And in all fairness, it's going to be a lot of me saying, um, oh, oh, what do I do? How do I do this? How much of this? So I will just save you all of that and put it through to some nice music probably, which, um, yeah, will be a lot calmer than... <laughs> what's actually happening. As a shop owner, you do have your good days and you do have your bad days. And today for me, it's just a frustrating day because nothing is going as I want it to go. My machine's not playing happy families and you know, everything is just, mm. the one annoying thing for me is that I'm not going to get my orders done today. And I really like to get them done on a Wednesday and post them out before they're even like due to be dispatched just because I like doing it a little bit early for you. Um, so that's really frustrating because I've been working since eight o'clock this morning and it's now, what did I say, half three? And I haven't got anything ready to post. I haven't even got my poppet packs ready to post because the um, cutting machine is just ripping everything. The things that I'm going to be using are obviously the silicone stuff. And then the catalyst for it, a little wooden mixer thing. I know all of the technical terms. A empty clean coffee cup. These are just like the disposable ones. But I'm just going to mix everything in. Um, Sam, I think you're supposed to use sellotape. I can't find any sellotape. So I've got this old Christmas tape that I'm going to be using. Fingers crossed that that works. And a old cookie cutter. We don't use this one anymore because all the black is starting to flake off. So um, we're going to be using that. Some rubber gloves. And lastly, I've got it plugged in at the minute, but it is a hot glue gun. like pink milkshake and I'm kind of living for it. But there, so both of these are done and I can demold these in 12 hours. So it's now, what's the time now? It's now 16.53. So we will just call that five o'clock and I will demold these tomorrow morning because by five in the morning, I'll be able to do all of them. And as much as I'm excited and I want to share everything with you, I don't want to get up at 5 a.m.
morning. Today is Thursday, it's a new day, it's a new vibe, and we are going to be demolding some poppets, which I'm super excited about. I feel like I need to apologise for yesterday for my, like, stressiness. <laughs> I haven't even started editing yesterday's vlog, but I already know that I was just a stress head yesterday, and I want to, um, apologise. So this morning I got up extra early, we've been doing some orders and some other things on the PC, but now it's time finally to go and unmold these poppets. I can't tell you how excited I am. So the molds have been sitting here all night. I put this little tin on it just to stop particularly the cat Marley from going on it and leaving either a paw print or lots of cat hairs. So now it's time to see if this actually worked or not. I'm kind of nervous. But let's see, let's take the tape off. not done too bad a job I'm gonna have to trim around the edges here because they've kind of over leaked a little bit but that's fine let's take these out of the mold oh they're so cute I mean I know it's just Lego but it's cute oh yay Oh, so cute. Like I said, I'm going to have to trim around here because it kind of over leaked. Yay, it kind of worked. I kind of shocked. So I've cut them out. What I should have done is cut them while that was still in it and cut round the shape with like a knife. But instead I took them out so... And because they were quite over leaked, I couldn't see where like the edge was. But I just used some tiny little nail scissors. So I have to wash this out with some soap and water and then um, I'll be able to do the resin in it. I can use it. So let's go and do that. While I've got the washing up water in there, I should just wash up all of the breakfast stuff. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to get on with some orders while I'm letting that dry. I want to do an illustration today, so we're going to be getting on and doing that while I'm waiting for the mould to dry.
so I'm about to start the resin process. I am probably just going to keep skipping um, time and coming back because I know like after the first day you have to wait half an hour and then the next day you wait six hours I think it is and then the last one you wait for 12 hours so instead of me keep jumping to different parts of um, the vlog I'm just going to stick with this and you're going to see it from like start to finish in just one chunk rather than splitting it up so yeah <laughs> So for these ones all I have to do to finish them is sand the back and do something called doming on the back with some more resin and then I'm going to order some little keychain things similar to this that will kind of go onto the back and it will be like a little key ring. These ones here are the shopping trolley tokens that you put in when you want to get a shopping trolley and it already has the hole there for me to just clip onto one of these so I'll be testing to see if this works. So did these come out perfectly? No, but am I super impressed for my first time doing resin? Absolutely, yes. It was really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the resin process from designing my first ever one to creating the mold and then doing the resin process. Are we in focus? Are we in focus? So that was it for this week's studio vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm so sorry if it was a little bit boring because I was kind of like in a rush and trying to do everything in just two days but I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog anyway. If you did enjoy this week's studio vlog then please give it a thumbs up. I'm not sure if I'm vlogging next week or the week after but another one shall pop up at some point in the near future because there's another project that 
I'm kind of working on in the background that I really want to share with you but I just need to find some more details out about it first so um, I'll definitely be vlogging again if you have any questions or comments then please leave them down below and as always I hope you guys have a lovely week next week and I will see you all on Tuesday bye guys